and he, and you won't change, and you won't change, Yanny. You like it? I love it. So this is what we're dealing with today, here in Da Nang, Vietnam. This is very typical weather for this time of year. It's kind of like overcast, raining, but it's still pretty warm. It's pretty humid. So it's definitely not cold. It could be a little bit of a wet adventure today, but you know, the funny part is, is that when the adventure gives you rain, well, you just get a little wet. No big deal. It's gonna be hardcore, let's go. Okay, adventurers, so to begin the journey today to go to Bana Hills, there was a couple different ways to do it. We could have took a bus, uh, we could have took a guided tour, and you can do that. And if you come here, that might be the easiest way to go. But you're gonna pay a little bit extra, obviously, for, the, for you know, a premium because it's all set up for you. They probably speak really good English, et cetera, et cetera, okay? What we did is we came out of our Airbnb, we walked around the corner to a local eatery, had some food there, and asked the gentleman there if he could set up a, a taxi for us to go to Bana Hills. He actually went on an application called Grab, which I downloaded on my phone now, and I highly suggest if you're coming here to Vietnam to get the application Grab because it has food delivery, it has taxis, it's kind of like the all, like Uber, but it's like the Vietnamese Uber. Onto the taxi, the dispatcher got on the line and he spoke pretty good English. And basically he said that the, the, the driver would wait for us while we were there and drive us back and help us get tickets the whole nine yards. So we're doing it kind of like the, the local way. Again, if you want to, if you want a guided tour and you want you know, someone to take you by the hand, that's totally fine. I don't think necessarily we need that. And I kind of like making our own way is, is much more uh, fulfilling, I think, as a traveler personally, but everybody's different. I get that. That's how we're doing it. So anyhow, my name is VKJ. This is Sexy Secret Vacations. Join us today as we travel on this rainy, crazy day to Bana Hills where ha, 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 the French, the French has uh, made the city in the sky. <laughs> so, mon ami, come with me today and we explore Bana Hills. Let's go! Stopped right here to get our tickets for Bana Hills. And the place is, here's the place right here. The, 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 the taxi guy just stopped at. And, and we're getting our tickets. It says Sun World Bana Hills. And we got, there's a couple different packages. The one package, you get the buffet combination or it looks like there's like a Bana Hill by night and a dinner buffet. But we just got the cable car in Bana Hills, which came to 900, 900,000 right there. That's what we ended up getting. And again, 900,000 is $36. So it's $36 for the cable car ride and entrance into Bana Hills. Not bad. There's a taxi waiting for us right there. So right now he is WhatsApping me the tickets. So we're not actually getting physical tickets. We're getting tickets sent to us on the phone. So it's going to be electronic tickets. And you click right there. One, one two. and two tickets. Thank Excellent. Thank you guys so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. We got a ticket. Bye. -bye. We got a tickets to ride, baby. Let's go. So now we have our taxi taken care of. We got our tickets taken care of, we got the cable car taken care of, and we got entrance into Bana Hills taken care of. And what's funny is as we're driving here, it looks like the rain is letting up just a tiny bit, so it's still gonna be overcast and probably a little drizzly, but as long as it's not downpouring, we're good. So we're pulling up here now, and there's the gondola over there going up the mountain. And there's like a thing up on the, the ridge up there. Wow. Awesome. Man, the architecture here is amazing. Whoa, look at this area. Just arrived here at the Bana Hills gondola situation, and I'm telling you right now, we're not even up on top of the mountain yet, and I'm super impressed, bro. As we stroll up here, they got music booming, and up on top it says, The Road to Fairyland. 
Welcome to Bonai Hills, it said in English. So they got a really cool, uh, I got a little, like a pull up lobby area here. It's really amazing. And then as we come out this way, it says to the cable car, ticket counter, this direction. So as we come out here, holy cow, look at this. Oh, man. Whoa. Check this thing out, man. Jeez. What's going on, Adventurers VKJ? Today I'm taking you to Bonne Hills, Vietnam, the city in the sky, with a ha ha ha, just a little bit of French flavor. So join me today in this adventure. Let's go. All right, it's time to take it inside, baby. Let's go. So we're going underneath the Bonne Hill arch here. Gotta love the music playing in the background. It's making it very dramatic. Check out this bridge heading over here. They got different statues on either side. You got a ratatouille over there. You got a dog. Let's go check out the map here real quick. Give you a little overview of what's going on here. It says, welcome to Sun World, Bonne Hills. And we are down, you are here. So uh, we are right there. And it looks like the ca that these lines represent the cable cars going up to the, uh, to the top of the mountain. And up here in this area is the top of the mountain. So looks like a lot of stuff going on here. All right, so you got some cannon action going on here. Oh man, it's crazy. It's like you're going inside an ancient city. Here comes the rain a little bit. But that's all right, because your boy VKJ, he ain't scared of getting wet. Heading in. All right, so it's right there, it's a cable car. We gotta go up here, Mike. Looks like there's a lot of people here, even though the weather is not exactly uh, cooperating. That's definitely not stopping the crowds of people. It actually might be a little better that the weather's not as good because if it was really nice and you were in main season, I bet you it'd be packed as you know what. So this could be a blessing in disguise. I, what's funny is that when I started reading about this time of year and the weather not being that co cooperating, I was like, oh, maybe we came at the wrong time or I don't know, it's just not going to be as good. But it could be even better. Who knows? Mike, you want to try peanut? All right, I'm going to try it. All right, here we go. Do I just take it like this? How do I do it? Mm, like honey roasted peanuts. Yeah, no, pretty good. I'll think about it. Thank you, thank you, that was delicious. They're giving away free nuts. They were like honey roasted, delicious. I wasn't sure if I was, she wanted me to put the whole spoon in my mouth. I thought for a second there she might feed me, but I think that would be probably a little presumptuous. It looks like we're finally to the ticket center where they're gonna scan our tickets to go. The gondola here at Ba Na Hills. Here, Mike, let's go over here. I got it. I got him out. Hello. How are you? Fine. Yes, we got two tickets to ride. Where are you from? United States. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is that it? You got both of them? Okay, okay. I just. Okay. Hello. Hello. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Very good. Uh, you travel here? Yes, yes. We're uh, we're staying in Da Nang. Yeah. I'm so sorry, the weather not good today. I, you know what? It's yeah. okay. Okay. We're gonna make the best of it. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Please, thank you. Bye bye. See you. See you later. See, even she apologized for the weather. But you know what? I don't. You know, I just want it. It's just a whole other experience, baby. So check this out, this one hallway right here literally has boats on the ceiling with, with flowers. I've never seen boats on the ceiling, it's a first. And we made it here to the cable car. Check it out. No line. Hello, how are you? There he is. Nice. Oh, look at the sexy cable car operator right here. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi, there's us. Thank you. No, you're the best. I'm the best. No, you're... Okay, we made it in. What was this? 
We're in. Uh oh, it's about to take off. It's about to hit lift off. It's gonna hit kick in a second here. It's about to kick in. Mike, here we go. And three, two, one, go! Oh shit. I told you. <laughs> and away we go. And these babies are hauling. Man, look at that river down there. I've never seen so much brown water in my entire life. There's the station right back there. We are on our way to the top. The tibbity tibbity top of the mountain. This thing is going quite fast. In high season, I just counted as we're going up here the different gondola uh, cables they have. And it looks like they have about five, I could be maybe even more, but from what I saw, about five different gondola paths. So if you're here in the high season, I bet you these all are, are flying along here, uh, getting people up the mountain. But since we're here in the off season, they just have one open and it's plenty. It's taking my breath away. Like a, Mike even said, he doesn't even want to look down because it's, a, it's too crazy. Okay, adventurers, so literally have come to a point where we've hit the cloud cover. Uh, if I pan off to the side here, you can see that you can still see the mountain to the right of me a little bit. But if you look straight forward here, I mean, it is thick, bro. There might be something out there. I mean, there could be a dragon or a Godzilla or a monster about 10 feet out there, but you couldn't see it because of the fog. This is getting more extreme by, by the second. Looks like we are approaching the station up here, which, yes, now you can see it. <laughs> you couldn't see it two seconds ago. Okay, looks like we made it to the top. It's some sort of miracle. Hello. Hi. We made it. Hello, thank you. Got everything? All right, we made it to the top. Oh, it is a quite, it is a little bit cooler up here, actually. Feels, feels good. It's actually, actually quite comfortable now. And we are at the, I can't, Marzell, ah, oh, it's a, oh, it's a French station. Wow, and it's, look, it looks, it looks like we're in France right now. All right, cool. I had, to, I had to change my anti-flicker um, because it's on a different scale here. I want to make sure the, the flashing's not happening. <laughs> okay. Looks like we came into a, an area here. It has a lot of different little shops. They have food, gifts, sweet delights. It's a little bit rainy out here, so I'm gonna grab one of these umbrellas right here for about 220. Okay, very good. Perfect, thank you. Okay, hold on. All right, cool, thank you. All right, I got my official Sun World umbrella to make this a little bit more pleasurable. Now we're ready to do it. I got my umbrella, I got my official, all right, the official umbrella of Sun World here. Right now, the Golden Bridge. This is the awesome bridge with the hands. There it is, off in the mist there. Whoa. Whoa, look at that hand right there. That's like the hands of the gods holding up the bridge. Now we're back. We're back in business. So we made it here to the giant hand in the sky. Look at that. That's awesome. It's down for now. We're just gonna roll like this. The rain is 
lessened up a little bit. There are the giant fingers of the gods holding up the bridge as the triumphant music plays here. Even though you can't see the view, you know what? This is pretty incredible to say the least. It's okay. It's almost like I said, like you're visiting the gods here. Pretty incredible. <laughs> Pretty cool, to say the least. I wish we could see the horizon. Or the... the view. Yeah. Ah, you know, I think you got to take it for what it's worth, and I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, sorry. Awesome. Whoa, look at this over here. Here's like the other pieces of the body here. You got a head spitting out water. And you got a big hand sticking out right there. Oh, their feet. Yeah. All right, so we've been across the hand bridge. Check. Now it's time to head down here and see what else awaits us here in the Nana or Bana Hills. That's what I meant to say. Stained glass windows above us. That's what I was going to say. It's like a ballerina. And we're in a huge garden right now. It says Love Garden. And that's what you're dealing with there in the Love Garden. All right. So now we're ending into the maze garden here. Uh, it's like a labyrinth, it looks like. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. So we actually made it to a point where you have to make a choice. Mike went right, so I guess we shall too go right. Why would you go in this? Okay, now we're heading up to Fantasy Park. We're going to Fantasy Park and the French Village. Let's do it. Fantasy Park, French Village. Hop, hop. She's our tour guide. <laughs> All right, now we're at the next station. Let's do it. Gondola number two. Do you need to see our tickets? Said, you don't need to see our tickets. I used a Jedi mind trick on them and they just let us right on. <coughs> we are not the drones you're looking for. French Village and Amusement Park. Hello. Eclipse Plaza. Looks pretty cool. Wanna go check that out? Cha-ching! Eclipse Plaza. So it looks like this thing over here is like a huge prism. And it's, and it's really Really big plaza right here. It says Bana Wow Festival. Looks like it's under construction a little bit right there. Castle in the sky. Here's another section of the castle right here. That the, that's what the gondolas come into right there. Here comes one right now. So they're, it's so funny. You, you know, you're supposed to feel like you're in, you're in France when you're up here. So they have classical music playing, you know, the, the classical so it's 
trying to set the scene for you that you've been magically whisked away from Vietnam to Paris. They got like Eiffel Towers right here. There's the wax museum right there. Here, Mike, to the right, go to the right. Here, if you want to see your idols, they got Brad Pitt. There is a Bumblebee from Transformers, more than meets the eye. So we're about to go into the wax museum here at Bana Hills. I, I'm, just, I'm from New Jersey, the United States. You can put that down too if you want. As soon as you walk in, you see Kim Basinger and that's Steve Jobs? Yeah, Steve Jobs, okay. There you go. Muhammad Ali. He doesn't look like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. And Victoria Beckham too. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do you think I pissed David Beckham off if I gave his wife a fucking smooch? Uh, of course, you got to steal her away. This is Michael Jordan right here. You guys be the judge if these, these wax figures look like the actual person or not. Michael Jordan, here's Kobe, the late Kobe Bryant right there. Uh, Lady Gaga over here. Man, Lady Gaga looks like she is uh, a little cold, if you know what I'm saying. And you got Michael Jackson, the king of pop over here. That's pretty cool. Who would have thought that you could be in the hills of Vietnam and run into Michael Jackson? He! Oh! Any on your bonche? On your bonche, Yenny? All right, got Marilyn Monroe right here. She's got the... She's got the, uh, the wind blowing up there. I mean, she looks a little scary. <laughs> Very interesting, to say the least. Captain Jack Sparrow. There he's Captain Jack Sparrow. Yo ho, yo ho, it's a pirate's life for me. Hey, look, it's Robert De Niro. Forget about it. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you. You talking to me? Angelina Jolie. And Brad Pitt. I don't know, what do you think? You have Wolverine right here, Hugh Jackman. Look at that hair. Of course, you got the Trumpster right there. He must have been a new addition. Oh my gosh, fantastic. Here, Mike, get up there. What can I do with Donald Trump? That's good. That is hilarious. Now, Donald, uh, let me ask you this. Are you enjoying your time here in Vietnam? Fantastic. Are we going to win in 2024? Of course you are. Let's go. Ahaha. Ha. Look who it is. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's here. I'll be back. Run, get to the chopper. You can't have a wax museum without the Schwarzenegger. I'm not sure what kind of gun he has right here. Is that a musket? That's kind of weird. Get to the chopper. Not a tumor. <laughs> it's not a tumor. Oh, we reached a part here where it shows how they make some of the wax figures. They're making a Leonardo DiCaprio one right there. Kind of scary right there. It's pretty scary. Hope you enjoyed the wax museum. No, no. Here they go. I know, I just want to get it on video. I ain't doing it. Oh, they're going up. Well, they're still going. Oh, now they're at the top. I think it's going to drop. Whoa. Looks like it's dinosaurs. I think this is probably fake, but I'm just going to take a picture of it because it looks interesting. Okay. We've been magically transported back into time to the Jurassic period. There's dinosaurs and crazy things around every corner, like this. And who's this dude? Whoa! Whoa! 
We're getting transported back into the future. So I assume, and it's, it looks like it's, it's a big square right here. And there's some sort of a castle and cathedral over there, but you can barely see it. Here's a, some sort of cathedral. It's like you're wandering around France here and Vietnam. I've never been to France, so this might be the closest I ever get. So now we're heading into the medieval fair. It's medieval, all right, I'll tell you that much. Flowers coming out of it, like it looks like Harry Potter or something. We're still wandering around this town. It's almost feels like it's the apocalypse again because there's no one around. Led Zeppelin, this is what you've been talking about all these years. The stairway to heaven, right there. <laughs> Hello, is, is the train in here? So supposedly there's a train that takes you from the middle of this area up here in Bonna Hills, Mystery Well Station right there. The map I have is slowly disintegrating because of all the rain, it's falling to pieces. So by the time we get done with this, the map is going to be no more. <laughs> there it is, we found it. Is that the train to go to Harry Potter? Ah, look at this thing. Thanks, cool. All right. We made it on the train. The train is leaving the station. All right, so I'm next to the conductor right here. He's about to drive the train. There you go. <laughs> So I'm right at the front of the train. You can see everyone behind us back there. Everyone's getting ready. Everyone's getting ready for the action. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think this one's called the runaway train. I'm just kidding. I think it's just a regular train. It's more like a trolley, actually, if you're really being honest here. Whoa! But there's two trains, so if, they're, if they don't pass each other at si the same time, they're literally going to run into one another. See, there's the other tram right there. And you hit the split track right here, but if, if at any chance you went on the wrong one, like, look. It knocks right off. Yeah, if that one came over here, then it'd be, you'd be in big trouble. Game over. Game over. Two trains, one track. What could go wrong? Because look, look at that. I know. Yo, I'm telling you, if it just happened to go over here. It's like a big Merlin right there. Wow, look at this. So we're in some sort of mystical castle now, and it says Moon Kingdom. Moon Juncture Theater. Oh, it looks it's a 3D movie. I don't know. They're full, of, they're full of stuff. Hold on. Right now the seat is moving quite a bit. You shouldn't be afraid. Whoa. I'm sure the monster's in the ghost chamber. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 
So it ended up being like a like a 4D movie. It shot water at you. It shot air. Uh, the, the seat moved. And believe it or not, the movie was totally in English and had subtitles in uh, Vietnamese. So it, lit, it was it was really great. Um, it was really long too. It must have been like maybe like 10, 15 minutes long. So I highly recommend uh, checking this out at the Moon Junction Theater. Uh, it was great. It was really good. I would have videotaped a little bit more of uh, the thing, but uh, you needed to have the glasses on in order to to see what was really going on. But it was like you went on a ride, and it was like a dark ride, a scary ride that this witch hijacked and uh, you know took you on a crazy adventure. That, that ride was intense, man. That was intense. All right, so they have another one here. It says Flying Eye Theater. So it looks like it's another simulator. I just don't want to miss some of this here. The queue here is absolutely awesome. Looks like you're inside like a, a castle or something like that. Now we're heading inside here. Whoa. Now, now it's like we it went from a castle into some sort of like mechanical, mechanical thing. Now we're like, that's the cue of this is cool. Yeah. I feel like we're in Harry Potter land right now, to be honest with you. The way this is laid out at Universal Studios. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is an actual ride here. Yeah, this is awesome. Dang, it's like, this is a full-blown ride in here. All right, so we're heading in. We're heading in here. Oh, uh, it's like a little like theater thing. Oh, uh, dang, you're, you called it, Mike. How the heck are we gonna get my, my bag in here? Oh, I gotta put my bag over there, I think. Yeah. All right, so we just went around the world we just went around the world and let me tell you right now what made it so exciting was the people in the ride with us they were very they were they were, they were woo ooh ah so we it was a it was kind of like uh, the ride soaring if uh, you've ever been on the ride soaring in Epcot Center it was very similar to that um, they, they we went to uh, Ellis Island we went to Taiwan, we were in Moscow, and then of course there was a little bit of dramatic flair. We went through some clouds, it rained on us. Uh, we went to Egypt and it was really hot. So, so it was definitely cool. I mean, you know, what's funny is we're walking around this place and to stumble upon a couple rides here, I'm really surprised. I mean, um, I, I wasn't anticipating, you know, some Disney S MGM Studios type of rides and stuff so this was great what a what an interesting interesting uh, uh, ripple to the day here in Bana Hills so that was cool that was great a little bit of, it was a simulator like I said it was a it was one of those simulators that kind of moved around and had some interaction and everything super cool highly recommended great job Bana Hills let's go and somehow, adventurers, things just all work out. We made it back to the base of Bana Hills. And the gentleman that brought us here, the taxi that we hired from the cafe this morning, is actually here to take us back to our hotel. So we managed to not totally mess this up. All right, adventurers, let's do a little cheers. All right, cheers to, where are we at again? We're at Bana Hills. Uh, yeah, Bana Hills, yeah. Cheers to Bana Hills. It was a great day. Even though it was rainy, we had a great time. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! All right. Thank make sure you. you. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification button because I'm out here getting wet for you guys. See you on the next one. Until next time, we are out of here. Bye. Yeah.